Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Um, this episode was supposed to be me going and doing all of the chores to get this right here. Yes, that is our hay wagon. Uh, yes, I did do all this. I recorded every bit of it, but the file was corrupted. And I normally do two saves. And I saved over my other save. So I could not go back and start from a different position. So um, we do have the hay baler. I mean the hay tray, uh, the hay trailer, hay trailer. We also have the hay baler, uh, as we got both of those done in the last episode. Uh, I really hate that the file got corrupted, and I hate that you missed it. Uh, we did shoot one bale out just to see how it stacked on the trailer. Uh, the rest of these will be stacking by hand off of the trailer. Uh, I am going to do this today. I was going to do this in the next episode, but thanks to corrupted files, uh, we're going to do this today. So uh, we're going we're gonna to bale some hay. The first thing we're going to do is in the last episode, I'm going to catch you up for a second. We went to... Um, let's see, we talked to, uh, Shia Lydia, right? And we did this thing for this person, I think. Uh, I think that was the hay trailer. Yeah, it was. That was the hay trailer right here. And then we started the thing for Shia Lydia, and we had to come way down here, right about there, and talk to a guy named Carter about maybe picking up a hay baler. So we had to do a whole bunch of work for him. It took me a very long time to do but we got that done. We also opened up a few new things. Uh, there's a cedar we can get there. And I think that's our corn header there. There's a mission, an exclamation point there and there. The This one up here disappeared, wherever it was. It was over here somewhere. It is gone. Uh, but we do have the option to get a cedar and a, a manure spreader, which we don't need the manure spreader yet because we don't have any cows, because we don't have any money. So the first thing I want to do is I want to plant some more stuff in the greenhouse because we did stop by the agriculture store. Oh, look at our tomato plants. Man, yeah. That is sweet. All right, cool. So we did pick up some stuff from the agriculture store. We picked up 12 tomato seedlings and 30 zucchini seedlings. So we're going to use the tomato seedlings right now and finish filling up these tables. Uh, There. There we go. Let's just get all these down. How many more do we have? We have one more left. Oh, well, that's just unfortunate. Do we have another spot here? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, you know what? We're going to save the one for later. And we're going to put down our zucchini seedlings. We have 30 of these. So there. Let's just go down through here, placing these. Make sure to keep up with our numbers. So if we miss one, we know to go back and fill it before we put another one down somewhere. We have nine left. And it looks like each table holds... Three, six, seven. Each table holds seven. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then we will save these. So um, I think saving those is probably going to be the best option. We'll buy some more later. Um, I can't believe our tomatoes are already growing that fast. It's only been, what are we on, day five? Yeah, that's pretty nice. So let's just go ahead and get out of there. Uh, I do want to make a, do a quick check just to make sure our greenhouse is still... In very good shape and it is good deal okay nothing there good now um something else me and my buddy big pace were talking about this so the wheat capacity here is seven thousand or the capacity is five fifty thousand liters we have seven thousand seven hundred twenty kilograms of wheat i do want to take that and get it sold so that we have some money and i think we may do that first thing off here um Okay, there's a camera collision thing going on there. I do want to do this first thing off because I want to see if it works. Uh, he said he couldn't get it to uh, trigger. So there's no trigger for actually... There's no trigger for actually getting the... Um, getting the grain to tip into the trailer. So I want to make sure we can do that before we go too much further here. go oh camera easy be careful getting that guy out of there let me turn my sensitivity down slightly there that's better i don't feel like i'm whipping this thing all over the place now and we should be able to pull just under here inner silo there we go so inner is silo disposal so that's nice 
Uh, we are going to fill this guy up. It looks like it's going to hold 4,200 kilograms of wheat. Now, we are going to take off to the store to sell this stuff, and we have to go... Um, didn't didn't these people say that they bought wheat for more? 576 euros per ton, uh, 360 euros per ton. So we're definitely going to go way down here um, to the old mill, and this will probably be... Uh, I guess this could be a time lapse, even though it's the very beginning of the video here. This could be a time lapse. I think this may be a good time lapse, actually. Me driving along, smoke in your face, all that kind of stuff. That's a heavy load, too. Very heavy load, actually. This just me was the smoke darker when we were rolling up the hill there, pulling that weight. I think it was. That's fantastic. Um, either way. We'll see you when we get there. All right. The old mill is upon us. Let's get some of this grain sold so that we may be able to buy more things. Uh, raise the trailer. Let me make sure that we're in a proper spot here. Yes, raise the trailer. Look at the Euros climbing. Yeah, buddy. 2200. You're really very hungry. Shoe looks, shoelaces look divinely like pasta. Well, that's not good at all. Let's lower that trailer back down. And uh, I guess we'll stop here for some lunch. As it has been quite a long day. Let's go ahead and eat the pumpkin. Oh, you know what we never did do? So in in the what was supposed to be this episode that you're watching now, uh, all the footage that I lost, um, I was supposed to go check the pantry to see how much um, food we actually had down there. We're going to go ahead and eat enough eggs to get us completely full. Oh, you were full. Okay, good. All right, good deal. Hey, folks, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a good day today. All right, I'm going to head back to the farm, and um, I will uh, we'll get started. Oh, we may bring another load down here. How much money do we have now? 2,200 euros. Uh, it'd be nice to buy some cows, now that we have a little hay. But I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll put this one up for vote. Uh, buy cows right now, yes or no, or uh, save the money to fix the house. So in the top right hand corner of your screen, and we will do this uh, a week from today. So not uh, Monday's episode, but next Thursday's episode week from today uh, we will do this so in, on Monday I will present the question one more time just so everybody gets it uh, also in the comments below if you would like to tell me I had the poll on my last video on video 4 number 4 episode 4 of this uh, the question was uh, 2 episodes a week longer episodes or 4 episodes a week shorter episodes uh, you guys let me know in the comments below on that one on this video also um in the top right hand corner click to vote uh, if you're able if not if the mobile mobile probably doesn't offer that option but if you are able to click and vote let me know there if not post in the comments below I'll make sure to read them all so that uh, we get all the information that we can two episodes a week that are longer or four episodes that are shorter uh, each week and then uh, in the comments below I mean in the in the poll in the top right hand corner do we spend our money now on some cows I don't feel like one cow is going to do us any good. I feel like we need at least four. And we have enough money to buy four and buy a bit of food. Not a whole lot. I don't know how much food they're going to consume. Uh, but I did say in the last video that I don't like that they dropped the price of cows to 500 euros. That feels a bit cheap to me. I feel like the cow should be 1,000 or 1,500 or 3,000 even. 5,000 even. You know what I mean? Cows should be a little more expensive. They really should be. 500 euros just seems really cheap for uh, a full-grown cow, although it might not be full-grown. It probably is, though, because the chickens, we bought them and they were laying eggs the next day, so um, it probably is full-grown cattle. So you let me know in the poll in the top right-hand corner if you're able to vote. If not, leave it in the comments below. I'll make sure to read them so that we get an accurate, uh, an accurate vote on that. But either way, I'll see you back at the farm. You know what, though? While we're here... Uh, I do want to buy a few more 
I do want to buy a few more um, items for our greenhouse because we have the money to do so. Uh, oh, you can buy peas or you can plant peas. That's pretty nice. Uh, soy, lupin, grass. Uh, we do need to plant some grass for our animals, I guess, at some point. Pumpkin seedlings. Three euros. Uh, we could buy... Buy 40 pieces. That's 120 euros. Then we could buy a couple of more zucchini to finish that out. I think we have enough tomatoes. We have plenty of those. Uh, let's go ahead and buy 30 pieces of that. And let's buy... 20 euros worth. Can we buy 20 euros worth? No, 12 is the minimum you can buy, it looks like now unless you can do no you can't scroll mouse so uh, 12 looks like the minimum I can buy 240 euros uh, those are three each so we don't want to buy those those are two each that may be a better even number here 66 let's see I want to spend 250 uh, doesn't look like it's gonna let me so let's start over there 30 what's the next value up from this 260 so 16 pieces of tomatoes uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's spend 260 euros on plants for our greenhouse. The way we know we are um, uh, covered. And also, while we're here, I guess we can go ahead and buy some more uh, chicken feed so we don't have to do it later. We could probably buy some more hens, too. That would be nice, honestly. Let's see. Uh, let's spend... Let's get 200 kilograms. We can. It looks like it's going to be 199 or 202. Let's buy 202 worth, and we can only buy tens, uh, 10 hens. So we have all the hens we can we can hold at the moment. Uh, we are going to buy some more feeds, so we don't have to worry about them for a very long time. It's nice making money. Uh, we have money to spend now. All right, now back to the farm. All right, we're almost back at the farm. And I thought about selling some more of this grain, but I think I'm going to hold off because I'm hoping maybe the prices fluctuate slightly. Uh, we are going to get to the baling here in just a moment. Uh, I don't feel like we've been playing for that long, so uh, we will definitely get there in a moment. Oops. Uh, ran over the door a bit there. Let's see if we can get in here without running anything else over. So we're going to hang the door slightly. That's okay. We can repair it. It's not that big a deal. Up off of here, and it's going to put us in the next room over. There's the door. There's the door right there. And we will just need to go up here and open these so that we can pull through. There we go. We'll shut this guy back for now. And I think that's going to be our grain cell for the day. I don't think we need to sell any more at the moment. So, let just push that back a little bit. There we go. Oh, it actually put us off facing the right direction. That's nice. I'll consider it. Get uh, that. I really should put this in the other way. That way I can just pull around and grab the grain, but that's okay. Not that big a deal. All right, now uh, let's go plant some more stuff in our greenhouse. And then we will get to baling. Hopefully. Why is this still open? Let's, let's close that. What's in here? Anything in here of use? There's not. Okay. I have learned uh, that I need to look around more. Uh, in the menus, when you're loading the game, it gives helpful tips, right? So, I saw that you can find mushrooms and apples in the wild, but you have to know where to look. So, I'm guessing some of these trees... Uh, I know I said greenhouse. We're going to go do this. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly ADD when it comes to games. I'll get focused on one thing and then go start doing something else. I don't know. Uh, apples usually don't produce um, in the fall that I know of. So maybe stuff like this over here. Let's go check this guy out real quick. These trees here produce something because they are in rows like they are going to produce some kind of uh, fruit for us. I'm not real sure on that, but maybe uh, at some point. So let's go do the greenhouse thing. Close that back. Uh, we still have zucchini seedlings on us, so let's go ahead and finish this out with zucchini. There we go. Plenty there. And we'll do pumpkins on the other side. We'll do them here. There. Greenhouse completely full. Very, very nice. Uh, I wish we'd have went and bought some of these right away. Uh, I guess we don't have to put anything away. We can just 
hold on to them for now. It's the wrong way. Here we go. Greenhouse is completely full. I'm probably going to take a screenshot of this. Because it's a very nice look uh, for us. Let's see. Can I get an elevated view if I just stand on the edge of the table? I don't want to damage our crops. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to get, let's see. Yeah, right there. That works. Now. Perfect. Oh, we need this. We need this tractor to go do this, I think. Um, so again, question for now. Do we save our money and finish fixing the house? Or do we go buy cows? I'll leave it up to you. Let me know. Now, this is probably going to be a time lapse uh, of sorts. So, uh, enjoy. Looks like we're just about done. I don't think we're going to get another bale out of it. It's pretty close. Uh, I wish there was an option to unload the current bale. Because I don't see any more... I do not see any more hay anywhere or straw anywhere laying on the ground. So I don't see any more straw swath. Well, that's the button I wanted. There we go. Let's just do that. Turn that off. And we need to find somewhere to put this guy. I guess for now... Uh, we'll have to just park it over here on the side, maybe. What's in here? Nothing is in there. I wonder if we can place K in here. Oh, I can't turn like that, can I? Let's try this. Uh, I don't think that's going to fit in there. It might, but it's slightly offset from the tractor, so... Uh, this may have to just live over here on the side, which is fine, because most of this equipment looks like it's been out in the sun for a very long time anyway. Um, unhitched. There we go. Okay, it is unhitched. Good deal. Let's go hook up to our hay trailer. And we're going to gather some of these up. And this probably will not be a time lapse. I'll probably just throw a few on there and then we'll jump cut to the rest of it. I think it's in this one. Let's hop off here. Now, I'm curious to see how many bales we can get on this thing. I'm going to wager that we can't stack them very high. I may be wrong. But uh, I don't think we're going to be able to stack very many of these on here for some reason. I just don't see that happening. So, um, I guess we can drive through the field. I mean, that's how we used to do it when we picked up hay. So, I drive through the field, have one guy driving and two guys stacking. Fortunately, it's just me this time, though. But what we'll probably do is we'll probably just uh, start there. Then I'll just run and grab the ones that are close, and then I'll pull down. Instead of having to uh, drive all over. So it is going to get three across. That's nice. Just need to make sure we don't miss any of these. So uh, help me pay attention. If I do miss one, please yell at me in the comments. Because, well, it's normally what happens if you miss something in-game. Uh, man, that sun going down is bright. Holy moly. Uh, let's just pull on up to about here. That would be good. And we'll pick up the ones around us here. And then we'll move over to the other side of the field. There are a few back here that we did not get. Uh, they do stack. 
It looks like they're going to go three across this time, so we'll see how many bales we get on here. Uh, I am willing to wager we don't get the entire field. That would just be too good, I think. Get the entire field. Oh, they're right here. I knew there was two right here around me somewhere. There we go. Um, this is a much smaller trailer than what we used to have to, to load. Uh, normally it would be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 150 to 200 square bales uh, per trip. So I wonder if we can get more. Can we go up another row? 2, 4, 6, uh, 12. We got 13 on here now. And the sun is beginning to set on us, so we may have to call it a day uh, after we get a few more bales on here. And there goes the sun. We can keep stacking. Boy, this is nice. We, can, we are going to get this whole field on here, aren't we? I think we might. Go ahead and grab these two, and then we should just need to turn around and drive one more time down as we can run across and grab some more of those if we need to. Uh, is that it? No, that's not it. Okay. There we go. Okay, it just didn't take. Neither did this one. So let's put it on a trailer. Now, I don't know if we can get any more on there or not, although that, that, that stack does make sense. Um, the ones up here on top are kind of holding those down uh, on the corners there. So that stack makes pretty good sense. Whoever whoever came up with that is, is pretty reasonable. And they're not perfectly stacked either, which I kind of like because, well, I mean, nobody's perfect. You're stacking these by hand, they're gonna get kind of wacky. So, and we put more on here. Alright, now I think that may be the last one. Let's try again here. Uh, anywhere? Will this take anywhere? No, it will not. Alright, so the rest of these we're just gonna pile up over here on the side. And one spot kind of, probably right here, that's more of a central place. Now you have to be looking a certain way, a certain angle to drop these. So keep in mind, if you're playing and bailing and you cannot drop the bail, you have to be looking kind of straight ahead to be able to drop it. All right, so I'm going to finish this up. It's probably going to be a jump cut, but uh, I'm going to finish this up. I'm just going to pile them right here, and then I'll come back with you when we get ready to go to sleep tonight. All right. Uh, you don't really notice how many bales this field produces and how big this field actually is until you're running around on foot. So I just want to take a moment to show you the amount of bales that we got there. Um, we ended up with, let's see, there's six on the bottom. There is uh, three, six, nine. So that's 12, 15, um, 19, 20. So there's 20 bales on this trailer. And I'm assuming that there's probably more than that on the ground here. Let's see. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be another trailer load and a half. So uh, this field produces quite a, quite a large amount of uh, hay bales, which is very nice, honestly. Um, also, put one over here just to, just to kind of look at the idea of maybe stacking the bale, bales under here. But I feel like... I feel like this would just be, can I not get off the tractor right here? I don't think I can. If I can just drive over that, that hay bale. I just want to park these underneath just in case of weather for tonight. Uh, you might use some rest. Yes, that's where I am headed now. Uh, first, I want to go down and check the pantry. Also, we need to check on the chickens. We need to go collect eggs, I think. Because if we don't collect eggs every day, then they will not lay them for the next day. Oh, they're all asleep. Can we still collect eggs if they have any? Chickens are in the bed. Oh, you know what? We're still on the same day from the last episode. So when I picked the eggs up last episode, I got like 24 eggs, I think. I feel like they improved the amount of eggs that you get. Now, let's go downstairs to the pantry. Go off of there. Downstairs to the pantry. Let's see what we have. How do you... Is that not it? Maybe this is it. Oh, inner pantry. Nice. What all do we have? Oh, we have a burger. Nice. Uh, five condensed milk. Three spicy pumpkin soup and three Italian tomato soup. Let's uh, let's take uh, move to your inventory. Let's take two of those. One of these. Oh no, I didn't want to take. I want to take one. One. There we go. I want to move one of these back over. Move to pantry and let's move one of these back over too. We don't need all that. Uh, we have plenty of eggs and a few apples on us, too. So that should get us through. The burger, though, we do need to eat at some point. Probably a good idea. Our condition is 
dwindling, so we're gonna head back upstairs, uh, and then upstairs again. We're gonna go to bed for the night. I think I left every door in the house open. That's okay though, it's August, it's warm, uh, it's nice out. We might as well leave the doors open. There we go. Your condition improved. Now, you're well rested and strong, I feel strong again. Now let's see if we can eat. Uh, that's 55, I don't wanna use anything that's high. Uh, let's eat these apples. Let's get these out of the way. And let's eat an egg. There we go. Our condition is 100%, which is the first time ever. Again, one more reminder. Oh, uh, turn the light off. We don't need the lights on right now. One more reminder. Vote in the top right-hand corner. Save money. Or upgrades to the house. Or... Sell these hay bales and buy some cows. It's up to you guys. I'll leave it to you. You let me know. And if you can't vote in the top right hand corner, you're more than welcome to leave a comment below with your thoughts on it. As people have done and been very helpful with this video series, honestly. I do need to take the time to thank everybody. Uh, Joe uh, left some very helpful comments. Also, I'm probably going to butcher your name, so forgive me. Uh, Fion McCabe left very helpful comments and Jordan left some helpful comments and there's a couple other people that I need to um, I need to go look at just to uh, just to get their names correct I think it'd give you some information on these I guess not uh, we can remove the seedlings but we don't want to do that I want to let them grow uh, but either way yeah, there's a few more people I need to thank for that but for right now we are going to go over to I think they said you could sell stuff here. I don't know where to sell hay. Um, hmm. Grains and hay bales. Okay, so we need to go here. So our road is actually going to be about right there. Let's zoom in some so we can see. Oh, you know what? We can come in from either direction, it looks like. Uh, so that's good. We can come in from over here. We don't have to go all the way around. It's not that far from our farm. It's very nice. Uh, let's see. 811 meters. Not too far of a trip on the tractor. Uh, but we have done enough uh, driving for the day, so I'll see you when we get there. Should make things easier. All right. Uh, we are here. I don't think we've ever been here, so I don't know particularly where to sell any of this. I do want to screenshot this, though. I am a screenshot junkie. I just love nice looking places so let's do this that should be a good angle there we go now i don't know where to sell this uh 66 percent of fuel we're using a lot less fuel the last time we had uh we used quite a bit of fuel uh just going from whoa we don't want to go that way all right trailer work with us don't do anything weird i don't know where to sell these although i assume drive around here we'll probably figure it out or we'll get stuck somewhere that would be worse uh getting stuck in a corner with this trailer trying to back this thing out if we drive under here what does that do for us this is the grain we're gonna come sell grain here that's where we go to uh can we sell hay right here maybe no okay not giving us an option to enter anywhere Looks like that is gated off for some reason. Although that might be where we sell it. We come back here. Does it give us the option to enter a store or anything when we come up? It does not. I would like to know if this gate right here, if we open this gate, let's just go ahead and do that. Whoa, going the wrong way. There we go. Now let's open this guy if we can. We cannot. It's blocked off. Okay, let's run around for a minute off the tractor. See if we can figure out where to sell this hay. Aha! Here we go. It's right here. Bell Market. We just didn't drive close enough to trigger. So when you come in from the farm side, it's going to be right here on your right. Enter Bell Market. Sell 20 bells for 3,000 euros. Sale! Yes. 3,000 euros for 20 bales. That's pretty sweet considering that you get about 40 bales off your field um, from one pass of wheat. And that was without fertilizing or anything. So I think that's pretty good. All right, we're going to head back to the house. I'll see you there.
All right, we're back at the farm, and we're going to pick up some of these bales here. We'll go ahead and get them loaded on the trailer. Uh, we'll see how many we have left, and if we have three, four, five left, we'll probably hold on to those. But if we have any left, we'll probably sell these. I don't see the point in keeping too many uh, without cows, and reminding you again to let you know that there's a poll in the top right-hand corner. If you're able to click that poll, you're more than welcome to vote on the amount of money that we save before doing anything else. So we save and buy materials to rebuild the house instead of repairing it, or we go buy cows. Totally up to you. We are at the maximum amount of hens we can have, which is sad. I'd like to have 20 um, because our hen house is big enough to hold more than 10. So I'd like to see more than more than 10 hens owned at a time. It looks like we're going to have the proper amount of bales. They may have done that on purpose. Two loads. But either way, I'll take this time to remind you of that. Nope, it looks like we're going to have one bale left over. Now there's a place to put that. There we go. I wonder if we just put this guy right here on the back of the tractor. If it'll stay right there. Highly doubtful. Uh, it did not. We're just going to run over it and we will come back and get it later. Uh, but yeah, uh, reminder, do you, would you like to see um, buying materials for the house or buying cattle? Totally up to you. I'll leave that one to you. You let me know. Top right hand corner, you can vote there. Or you can leave it in the comments below if you can't click it. Uh, for now though, I think we have done enough hay bales selling for the day. We're going to go park the trailer right here. And I do want to run back up and complete this mission that we started. Because uh, if you take too long to complete them, they're not happy with you. So we need to go do that before too many more days pass. Um, and I'm not going to torture you with driving all the way up there. It's quite a long distance because I may run. Oh no, I can't run because I have to pick up our... Uh, have to pick up our... Uh, yep, that is far enough. Good deal. I have to pick up our fertilizer. That's what it is. They hit something like that. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Oh, unhitch. Could have unhitched back here. Would have been fantastic. There we go. Unhitch there. And uh, I'm not going to torture you with the drive over there. What's up top? I want to go up top and look. Uh, since we repaired it, I haven't been back up here. Uh, it's pretty empty, actually. Uh, this is grain storage. I wonder how much grain is in there, if any. Um, empty. Okay. Home fuel storage. Fuel can be bought in large amounts, usually cheaper. So if we go back by the fuel store, we may buy a bunch and just have it delivered. So we do have 4,700 euros. Uh, either way, I'm not going to torture you with this drive. It's going to be quite a long distance. Uh, so I'll see you when we get there. Or if we stop to buy fuel, I'll see you then. Alright, we're at the fuel station. I feel like we're probably going to try to get uh, some fuel delivered to our home as it did say it would be cheaper if we bought it uh, in bulk. So I don't know if it gets delivered, if we have to have a trailer for this or what, but uh, inner gas station, buy a thousand liters to home tank. Um, wholesale price, $1.20, uh, 1 euro 24, a thousand liters, that's uh, 1200 euros. There we go. Ball. Uh, we do need to go ahead and fill this thing up while we're here, though. There we go. Uh, I guess we can buy another thousand liters, but we don't need it. Uh, we're only using like 60 liters or so at a time. There's no need to buy too much. Uh, although, it'd be, I guess it's nice to have, but uh, it's kind of unnecessary. So we're about a thousand meters from our uh, destination. So, once again, I'll be with you shortly. Alright, because you guys missed it, uh, this is where we picked up one of our items. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the, uh, the hay trailer. Yeah, the hay trailer. We picked it up there. So we came down here after that, and we talked to Lydia, and uh, got the mission to go get, uh, or go talk to William in the last episode, which you missed. Uh, she was afraid to go talk to him. She was too shy to do so. 
but she wanted to go dancing on Saturday night, so we went to talk to him and got him to do uh, just that, to ask her to dance so that we could come get this fertilizer here. Now let's see what she's got to say. Well, hello, Lydia. I am so happy. I can't think about anything but William. Well, that's good. Uh, are we free to take this? Congratulations. You've earned the fertilizer and helped damsel in distress. You may be proud. Uh, I don't guess we got any show social points for that. Oh. Hello. Hello there. Oh, it's you again. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, would you have any farming advice for me? Would you have any farming advice for me? Don't lose that hay after harvesting. Bale it. You can feed the animals or just sell the bales. Okay, then. Good advice. I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? I am looking for work. Got anything for me? No, not at the moment. Well, maybe in the future, then. Uh, them politicians, what are they thinking? Them politicians, what are they thinking? Idle chit-chat. come and chit. live with us for a week. They'll see what a real life is. Good luck. See you Good around. Good luck. See you around. Hey, then. Quest complete. Ah, Lydia. You received 50 social points. Nice. Really thought this would change by now. What would change by now? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Um, thanks. That's all. Thanks. Just wanted to say good morning. Okay. I don't know what she meant. I really thought this would change by now, but... Okay, then. We're going to take this fertilizer and we're going to go. As long as I don't run over any of your chickens. That'd be bad. All right. Fertilizer. Attached. See you, Lydia. I appreciate it. Thanks for the fertilizer. Uh, it's a cool-looking little fertilizer. I imagine the working width on it is not very wide at all, so... Uh, when we do fertilize the fields, we're going to have to take care to uh, make sure we get it all covered. Um, and I think we can buy fertilizer and such at the store, agriculture store. I'm not positive, but I think we can. Uh, either way, I'll see you back at the house. Another long road trip. Or you know what? While we're in the area, uh, we might as well stop and talk to Frank up here to see what he needs. Um... Hopefully it's nothing serious and it's maybe just some repair work. That would be fantastic if it was. Because uh, he's right here. We have to go right past this place anyway. Hey, where are you running to? Hey, lady, get out of the road. Very slow-moving tractor coming at you. Uh, yeah, we might as well talk to Frank while we're here. I assume that would probably be the best bet. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have time to do his job today. Depends on how big it is. I imagine um, for a manure spreader, it probably wouldn't be that much. Uh, maybe, but I wouldn't think so. Not a whole lot. I mean, manure spreader. You know, like what? We, we repaired two buildings for a harvester. I mean, that's way more expensive than a manure spreader. So uh, maybe it won't be too much. At least I'm hoping not anyway. I hope we don't need anything else because we don't have anything with us. This is fertilizer here. Unless he wants his field fertilized, we can do that. Where is the entrance to his state? Uh, right here. Perfect. Now, let's go down here and find Frank and give him a shout. And he does have a lot of buildings, though. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad, though. Most of the stuff looks fairly new. Go talk to Frank and see what he's got to say. Yes, need anything? Looking for a job. Actually, I could use that manure spreader over there. Interested? Know anything about construction? Repairs? I know a little bit. I slapped my microphone sure, during that last I'm speech, by the skilled. way. Good to hear. All right, uh, I'm in between travels, and these buildings need a lot of work. Fix them for me, and the spreader's yours. Sounds fair. We'll do. Sounds fair. We'll do. All right. Perfect. Uh, quest completed. Talk to Frank. You received 50 social points. Very nice. Quest updated. Fix one Fix one of the buildings. I'm guessing it's this one here, then. 
Uh, alright, well, you know the drill. I'm gonna get started repairing stuff. I'll be back with you shortly. Oh! Just so everybody's aware. Uh, I was trying to figure out what this thing was called in episode 2, I believe? Uh, and Joe was nice enough to point out that it's called a trawl. A trawl? A trawl? A will? Trowl? I think a trowel is what I've always heard them called. Although I don't, I don't believe that's right. I believe Joe's probably right on that. So I appreciate that uh, helpful tip. So that I can uh, at least get close to calling it the correct thing. Even though I don't pronounce it the correct way. Uh, it's still nice to uh, have people try to help you out anyway. When you don't know how to pronounce things. Or when you don't know what they are. Alright, not a whole lot to do in here either. Uh, I assume this is probably not going to be all of it. Oh man, he's got nice stuff. He's got concrete um, pins for his animals. There we go. And it looks like the roof's going to be the last thing. So, you follow me around, but you don't trust me to do the job properly. Uh, yeah, looks like the roof's going to be the last thing, so not too bad. Let me get a piece of scaffolding set up and finish this off here. Alright, should be just about done there. Fix another building. How did I know? That's not a surprise at all. Let's just climb down this thing here. There we go. Now let's change over to our scaffolding again. And let's go ahead and put a piece up. A uh, tall piece, preferably. That one will work. And we'll go ahead and switch back to repair. And we'll get this building done. Alright. Oh, we did have to put up one extra piece of scaffolding. Not too bad, though. Uh, he has a really... A uh, really nice tin roof on this place. Finish the last building. Okay, we can do that. Get this piece down here. And that piece down there. And we'll take this over here and go ahead and put it... Uh, yeah, we can put it there. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we can put it there. That'll work. That's a semi-flat roof. We should be able to get up there. If not, we can put a piece down here too. Just to be sure. This one's going to need a ton of work. Uh, all the top row needs to be repaired. So we'll just, uh, we'll just lay this out all the way across here. And it'll take some time to take all that up, but that's okay. Not a bad thing. Um, let's see, can we just do this? I think that's probably going to be our better option, since we've got so much to repair there. Uh, none on the ends. Good. And most of that we can probably repair from the inside. We probably don't need any of the scaffolding, honestly. Other than to repair the roof. Uh, but it takes just a second to take up, so it's not that big a deal. We're going to start from the top this time and work our way down. Uh, what up here? Uh, looks like all this roof right here needs to be repaired, so... Back to our repair. Uh, no, does he want rebuild? Is that what he wants here? Oh, he doesn't want this done at all, then. Okay, so I don't even need to be on the roof. We can just drop down through one of these, maybe? Get inside? No. Okay. So we don't even need to be up there. We need to go back down and uh, go back to repair and do this. Alright. Be done in a minute. Alright. We should be finishing up the last piece here because it wouldn't let us repair the roof. Uh, no? Oh, right here. This one. Well, that should be it. Uh, I don't know. It won't let us rebuild. So I'm guessing I'm guessing uh, we missed something somewhere. It won't let us rebuild that. Oh wait a minute, I thought I saw some red down here. I did. Aha! We did miss a piece. I need to go back to uh, repair. There we go. This should be the last one. Yes? No? Not done yet. Okay then. Just double check all these interior walls I guess. Uh, this is all good. Aha, right here. You got all the scaffolding in your way. It's hard to see some of this. Yes, no, oh, nope, one more here. One more. Now then, return to Frank and ask for your reward. Very nice, very nice. Hello, Frank. Good as new. Good, look solid. All right, take the spreader. Sure. Well, thanks. well, thanks, Frank. I appreciate it. 
we'll have to come back and get that. Also, probably going to have to end the episode here, as I have run out of time for the day. Uh, I did have to re-record all of this, so... Uh, congratulations, you've earned the manure spreader. You did very, uh, really well. Well, thanks, I appreciate that, even though we left his roof not finished. Uh, I guess he wants to do something different, like uh, finish the metal roof out. You received a liquid manure spreader and 100 social points. Just to recap for the day, uh, we have gained over 1,000 social points by just doing side jobs and 3,500 euros is what we're ending with today. It's not bad at all. All right, well, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you all in the next one. I appreciate you watching, stopping by again, vote in the top right-hand corner, save our money, or buy cows. Uh, I'd like to save our money and rebuild our house with new materials. Uh, but if you want to buy cows, we'll buy cows. It's up to you. I'll see you in the next one. Later, everybody.